Hey friends, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Chanel. I'm your resident movie watching BFF. You've clicked on my reaction and commentary channel. This is a channel where we watch movies together and I let you know what's going on in my brain the whole time I'm watching these movies and we like to do it with our little filmmaking thinking caps on because we're smart and we're not basic, you know? Like we like to get more from the movies. You know what? Chanel's channel, colon, more from the movies. What do you guys think? What do you think of that? I'm workshopping that. Merch to come. So today's video is Casino from 1995 and it is two hours and 58 minutes and I am f***ing scared. Three hour movies, thinking about them is really scary but when I'm in it, it ends up being a really beautiful character study. Any movie that I've seen that's nearly three hours is like living with characters. So we did it with Heat. I definitely remember that from watching The Godfather the first time, The Departed. So I really do think that Wild Casino is going to be a gangster type film it is also gonna be a really in-depth character study because you don't spend three hours with these guys and come out with nothing you know so this is the dream team as far as I'm concerned it's Martin Scorsese it's De Niro Sharon Stone and Joe Pesci Goodfellas is one of the greatest movies of all time truly so I just can't wait to get with these characters so that's that I think it's gonna be a real character study while these guys do some shady shady sh in the name of money. Yeah, I don't, I, that's gotta be it. So that's gotta be it. Figured it out. Yeah. So if you want more from me, I always say hit that link in my description box below for Patreon information. Would love to have you over there. Other ways to support me below. And without further ado, I mean, let's just get right into today's video, which is Casino from When you love someone, you've got to trust them. There's no other way. <laughs> it's the quote for me, man. I believed that's the kind of love I had. Oh, shit. Marty Scorsese. He got, um, what's the word? What do they call it when you get taken, when you get taken out? I love an opening like that because it's like in 1983, he did. And now we working, we're working backwards. Oh, based on the book by Nicholas Pileggi, isn't that the same guy who... I think that's the Goodfellas guy. We will write it down. I was given one of the biggest casinos in Las Vegas to run, the Tangiers, by the only kind of guys that can actually... Last Supper vibes. But it should have been perfect. I mean, he had me, Nicky Santoro. Nicky! But in the end, we f***ed it all up. It should have been so sweet, too. Whoa, cool. A lot of holes in the desert, and a lot of problems are buried in those holes. I mean, you gotta have the hole already dug before you show up with a package in the trunk. Otherwise, you're talking about a half hour, 45 minutes to dig. I'm like, yep, gotta have that hole dug. <laughs> Paul Ank is in town. Again, we're always looking over my shoulder, hassled by cops, staying there. But here, I'm Mr. Rusty. I'm not only legitimate, but running a casino. And that's like selling people dreams. I freaking loved that shot. It was like a swap. Instead of coming in on him, it pulled out and watched him walk away. We should look out for a really, really long take like he did with Goodfellas. One of those like walk in walk shots. We're the only winners. The players don't stand a chance. <laughs> They're cash. He's like, you guys are suckers. Our boxes through the cage and into the most sacred room in the casino. The place where they add up all the money, the holy of holies, account room. Okay, we've, we've been following him this whole time. Through the door, through that door, whip pan. And the best part was Zoom. that upstairs the board of directors didn't know what the fuck was going on. This is a long take. Today everything looked on the up and up, right? Wrong. Till pan. Dining room, we are all slipped in there to skim the joint dry. Now notice how in the account room nobody ever seems to see anything. What? Can't see anything. Who wants to bother them? I mean, God forbid they should make a mistake and forget to steal. <laughs> forget to steal. I mean, it's routine. We haven't cut. Long take. Which was as close to Las Vegas as the Midwest bosses could go without getting themselves arrested. I wonder when we're gonna... There we go. First cut. That was a long take. He did the Goodfellas thing again. And they would meet in the back of his produce market in Kansas City. I mean, nobody even knew it. Italian market in Kansas City, man. Wow. Because they control the Teamsters Union. And that's where you had to go if you wanted to borrow money to buy a casino. Mm. Nobody got a Teamsters loan. Ugh. I want meatballs. 
or especially guys like Remo Gadget, the outfit's top boss, definitely the most important guy in this room. Remo. But Andy also took orders. And when he was told to give a pension fund loan to Philip Green... For $62 million for the new tangent. He did it. Andy Stone who gave all the orders, not the chairman of the board, Philip Green. I understand. Philip Green is like like a puppet. I don't know if I could do this even if I wanted to. The gaming commission would never give me a license. I would at least... I couldn't. I couldn't. He's so humble. You know, if I did it, I'd have to run it my way. You got it. I'm serious. No interference. I guarantee you. Slimy. All I had to do was ring the bell and take the money. Especially Remo, who was a f***ing degenerate gambler who always lost. Remo's an early favorite of mine. <laughs> Yeah, we made a great pair. I made book, and Nikki made sure we always collected. Ooh, little Nikki's the collector. How did Nikki collect? Pay every week. I just most don't ask. And where the f is the money? I don't see the money. Do I amuse you? Do I look like a clown? I'm scared of him. He's a good collector, even though he's small. Jag off. Stab him. <laughs> Ah, how does Nikki collect? <laughs> Jesus, Nikki. You beat him with a knife, he comes back with a gun. And if you beat him with a gun, you better kill him. We know De Niro's dead at the end of this. We don't know about Nikki. He was a money machine. Tremendous earner for these guys. The seven doctors. As soon as he took over, he doubled the fucking drop. But the casino never saw so much money. I don't get it. What? How? Why? Is he just charismatic? So he got a lot of people in? He's the county commissioner's cousin. I wouldn't give the bum a mop job. But still, I had no choice. I had to take care of them. These yokels ran the state. Very much so. So he's just, he's just taking care of people, making sure they have a good time. They come to the Tangier and nowhere else. Certainly. Why not make them happy? Who's the guy on the right, the older man? He looks like Don Rickles. Another billionaire cheapskate who loved his free rooms, free private jets, and two million of our money. So he's just mad that this guy's winning and betting big. All right, I get it now. Sorry, Mr. Crane. I have to get to my money back. And once he was back, he played small. They're trying to get him back in. Until he dropped his winnings back and gave up a million of his own cash. <laughs> the longer they play, the more they lose. We get it all. God damn it! I get it now. Now I know what De Niro, what Ace is doing. You see how I answer my own questions? Is this Sharon Stone? It must be. Looking good. Looking good. Let's go. Cool. This is for Ginger. Come on. This is for Ginger. Let me have a hundred on your Okay, I feel so stupid. Are you not allowed to take a chip off the table? That's yours. You paid for it. They're gonna let her get away with it because she's hot, right? You're all night. Don't give me that shit. I want the I don't steal anything from you. Get lost, you jerk. Oh, is it she took chips from the dealer that so they weren't paid for chips? <laughs> Love this move. Slow motion camera, slow pull in, sound rushes out, play me the song. What a move. I fell in love right there. <laughs> but in Vegas, for a girl like Ginger, love costs money. Ginger. No matter how I try. Hot. <laughs> Smart hustlers like her could keep a guy awake for two or three days before sending him home broke to the little woman and his bank examiner. Ha. Get it, Ginger was that she could have everything under control except for her old pimp boyfriend, Lester Diamond. I want you to understand that I am looking out for you in this thing, okay? You're gonna get yours back. Seems like she doesn't need Lester, like, at all, you know? She's, like, a powerful woman. The ginger I knew wouldn't even look at this creep. Good man. That's what I'm saying. But nobody had to take care of Nikki. And that's why every badge back home wanted to nail Love it. Nikki. Because Nikki enjoyed being a gangster, and he didn't give a damn who knew it. Come on. There we go. Dead. That's risky. Oh, there are? What's that? Huh? What's that? Uh, I don't like a smack. 
Boy, look at this place, huh? Incredible. Hey. Welcome to Vegas. Okay, Sammy. Somehow. Do you guys love Scorsese's camera? It is just the best. It is so amazing. Keep it moving, you know? Catch a fish. Hey, so Vegas one way. Call this guy and tell him I'm coming. Of course. And I saw it another. Dancing camera. He might be my favorite director. It wasn't very scientific, but it worked. When he won, he collected. When he lost, he told the bookies to go f themselves. Go f yourself. I'm a little confused. You look confused. I think that was another long take for us. Followed him in here. You'll get unconfused. Give me the f the money. I'm sorry. You get unconfused. We're waiting on Carmine. Yeah, Carmine. looking for Carmine. He was here before. I saw him. He had a suitcase and everything, and then he left. Right. I went across the street to somewhere else. It's not right. Pesci has blue eyes? Damn. I didn't know this. Like this guy. He's betting lavender chips at 500 each with only one little problem. He's always guessed right. Hmm. Only one little problem. Now here's this guy reading the dealer's whole card and signaling his buddy at this table. I am like too dumb to understand what they're doing. They were knocking this place dead for years. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Ah! Knocking this place dead for years. Ace is really good. Hey, get no. Guys, what's going on? What? I wanted everybody to know that things were changed around here. Oh my god. No! 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 Mm, I can't look at that. That's so intense. Oh my god, you guys. Look what they did to my hair, man. It is Don Rickles. I can said that. And I, I decided to complicate my life. Don't you think it's time? Aren't you getting tired of all this shit? Banging around, huh? Oh my god, is this gonna end up like Heat, where he's like, I gotta get out, baby, gotta retire. But I just don't have those kind of feelings for you. That can grow, yes. As long as there's a mutual respect, that kind of thing can grow. She's like, money. You know, if it doesn't play out, then what happens to me? You'll be set up for the rest of your life. Hmm. I could see Ginger marrying for money. You know? Can you feel me look into your heart? I love you. But baby, do you know that I love you too? This is the best thing I can do for my life right now. That's right. She trying to break it off with Lester? I'll be here for you. I ain't going no place. Huh? I'm seeing you for the very first time right this minute. I've been with Lester since I was a kid. Hmm. That part of your life is over with. Hmm, I wonder if that was just a goodbye. Look at that house. What a oh. difference. So Ginger really throws a wrench in his life, and I'm I'm thinking it's gonna have something to do with Lester, thus leading to Ace's demise. Oh my stuff. I can't. What is it? Chinchilla. It's chinchilla. I knew it. <laughs> All this stuff doesn't mean anything. Money, this doesn't mean anything without trust. Okay. I put two million in cash in Los Angeles Bank under the name of Mr. and Mrs. Tom Collins. This was strictly my shakedown and kidnapping money. Shakedown and kidnapping money? I gave Ginger the only key to the cash that could get me back alive. Oh, he trusts her, and I don't know if he should, because she's a hustler, and we know that. <gasps> So powerful, so powerful. We needed that reaction shot. You must really trust your wife. You trust her? Yeah, sure I can lie. <sighs> oh, he's stupid. Then, the next thing I did, I started busting out high stakes poker players. He's totally wearing contacts. Calling it. I don't give a shit who he's connected to. Tell him to take his feet off the table. What do you think this is, a goddamn sawdust joint? Do you guys see all of this top lighting? It's been a trend. All of their heads are illuminated by this top lighting. I wonder why. Maybe to give the feel of being in a casino. You told him to go f himself. Is that what you did? I, I told him to go f himself. Oh, he knows exactly what he's doing. Totally understand. He doesn't know that uh, we're dear friends. Okay, get down. Okay, I'm sorry. You're dear to me. Tiger, okay, all right. Between my innovations. Whoa. And Nikki's dedication to his job. 
Nikki's dedication. Um, I'm calling this camera like a roller coaster. Did you see that corkscrew we just did? What am I doing out here? I'm trying to make a living, that's all. I'm just telling you, don't say I didn't warn you. All right. Don't say I didn't warn you. As the head of the Tangiers Gaming Corporation, it's my pleasure to welcome Sam Rothstein to the Vegas oh, Valley Country Club. Say. He is chain smoking, by the way, in this movie. You're one of the most gorgeous women I've ever seen. You're a lucky man, Mr. Rothstein. He's like, okay, step off. He was a young kid from the casino. Nice kid, bright boy. What balls on his f***ing kid? The next day I fired him. <laughs> but as much as they loved her... Oh, fabulous. They didn't know what really moved her. Look at that. Jules. Nicky managed to get himself banned from every casino in Las Vegas. And from then on, I couldn't be seen talking to him anywhere in Vegas or even near it. Damn, Nikki, chill. Thousand every time he shows up. You believe this? Sh Got banned. Was a notorious and unsavory reputation. Oof, that's that really, really scary Joe Pesci impulse. It's what makes him so terrifying as an actor. Being in this book etched your name into the brains of every cop and FBI agent in the state. I mean, you're listed in there with Al Capone. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting good. What's Nikki gonna do? Yeah. And they're in Penthouse K. They checked in alone? They checked in alone. Are they out now? Yes, don't worry. All right. Love those cross cuts. So active, so f active. Valet Parkers. We're just checking in now. Okay, I'll tell them. Pit bosses. Yeah, from 1230. Spent a lot of time on the phone back in the day, pre-cell phone. All right. And they all got a piece of the score. Cars come. Damn, so they're doing heists too? The bosses were making so much money with the casinos that they didn't want anybody making any waves for them. Then I put some more of the money in some legitimate places, like my restaurant. Mmm. Hell yeah. Okay, just kidding. Ruin a perfectly good sandwich. Slide over, honey. Two days. It'll never ever get tender, you know what I mean? Okay. Alright, I was a little confused and now I'm no longer confused. Slide over, honey. Got it. Tell me you gambled the money. I'll give you the fucking money to put the fucking heat on. Did you gamble? Huh? Yes, and then he beats his ass in. Can degenerate you. Can kids at home? Only slightly disappointed the money is not bound by a rubber band. Guy. He was one of the toughest Irishmen I ever met. But he never talked. Dogs. Dogs. Oh, man. I'm not going to be able to see. Look at this. Fucking vice. I'm going to squash your like a grapefruit. If you don't give me a name. Say it. Me, me, you motherfucker! I'm not. I can't. I can't. Charlie M. Charlie M. Charlie M. You motherfucker! You. No. There was a real gangster in town. No. No. Nikki was the new boss of Las Vegas. I am so fucking afraid of Nikki. What's well, a casino? People gotta win sometimes. Hey. Not here. You're firing me. I'm firing you. Dumb to keep this job if you didn't know you were in on it. Either way, you're out. Get out. Go on. Let's go. Damn. Everything else in this place, you don't do it yourself, it never gets done. Where are you going? Look at every overhead light. Well, I need more than that. I need 25,000. 25,000? Should be easy for him. It's not a lot. What's the difference? I just need it. Well, I mean... For Lester. Yeah, she's leaving her back now. Alright, I'm gonna follow her. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. What's about to happen, guys? Oh my god, oh my god. How you doing, Les? It's Lester, right? From my recollection, aren't you the card shark? Who's asking? I want to be alone with my wife. Get the f up and get out of here. And you want to be free. Why you feel that you're too good, much too good. Did he take the money? I think he left it. Show you something. No. Ginger did not want to be married. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's like, own hands dirty. Oh my god, everyone has that scar so that, huh? on their arm. Do you know what I'm talking about? That circular needle thing? Crazy about your what? I should have never married him. He's a Gemini, a triple Gemini. <laughs> you should not have married a triple Gemini. That's a no. That's so many Geminis. It's because he loves you so much. He's jealous and worries. I'm scared she's confiding in Nikki. Don't be telling him shit. When I see him, I'll talk to him. Okay. No. 
right? She thinks she can trust Nikki. Ooh. Come on now, I don't want to see you unhappy. <laughs> Stop. Do these kisses mean anything? <laughs> oh God, guys, 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 guys. Wait just a minute. Uh, guys, where's his pants? Those shoes, high stockings and skinny legs. <laughs> That's important to me. I'm sorry, but he knew about I getting hit on three big machines in a row and he did nothing about it. That means either he was in on it or forgive me for saying this. He was too dumb to see what was going on. Curtain your gangster pals like Nicky Santoro. I think you're way out of line talking to me like that. Oh, this guy's ballsy. Sorry. You bet. Oh. I see a canted angle and she's getting crazy. Isn't it bad enough you're drinking too much? You're taking all my pills too? Ginger is unraveling. I knew this is going to be a character study. <laughs> I feel so bad for her. There's no names in the papers. You don't have to worry about any of that. That's all you care about. Wow, <laughs> the camera's getting tipsy. You're a beautiful woman. <gasps> you're destroying yourself. It's like on its side. Don't be mad at me, okay? I will. Okay, so is that cowboy dude who just came to see him and he was like, we're going to send you home. I'm saying he's responsible for killing him. Hush, Ben, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that the money we're robbing is being robbed? That somebody's robbing from us? Oh my God, the vocal damage. This guy could f*** up a cup of coffee. What the hell have you been doing out there, Artie? Well, I'm out there more than I'm here. This guy could f*** up a cup of coffee. <laughs> I love this. You are. No, I am not wrong. Green tried to stonewall her. I will see to it that you do not get away with it. It didn't go too well. Green has to open up the books. They should have paid her off. You don't want eyes on the books. Home decided to settle the case out of court instead. So they sent me. Killer. <sighs> it's so hard to see. Where's the blood? It didn't, like, go through. Has that man even filed for his license yet? I don't know. This guy's gonna we'll get him. Cowboy, we're calling him Cowboy. Cause we may have to kick a cock's ass out of town. Oh, yikes. Thank you. He said it, he said I'm gonna get you out of town. A financial oasis in Las Vegas for 30 years. Mr. Pesci, nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, at least you could do is return my phone calls though. Listen, Nikki. <laughs> what are you gonna do, strong arm me? <laughs> <laughs> buddy <laughs> oh god you go get my money or i'll put your f***ing brain to sleep i'll be there in the morning you can f***ing try me fatso it's a square guy for christ's sake you can't treat him like that tell what me what happened I... to me what happened yeah. to you you lost your control i lost control yes you Look lost you, your control you're walking around like john barrymore this is electric this is a good uh, scene you're gonna run to the fbi now your head is getting bigger than your casino. That's your problem, pal. I knew what he wanted, and I didn't want any part of it. Plus, he had stopped asking permission from back home for every little thing. A casino boss and his wife were killed. The Bulls questioned Nikki. Whoa. From the Sirocco, they questioned Nikki. Oh, my God. They questioned Nikki. And when some guys who didn't pay their Shylocks began disappearing, Nikki's name was in every one of those newspapers. Yo, Nikki is getting sloppy. If a guy tripped over a fucking banana peel, they'd bring me in. <laughs> Problem was, Nikki was not only bringing heat on himself, but on me too. He. But my license hearing coming up, and I didn't want to leave anything to chance. Years ago, and there was simple gambling pinches. I wanted to hear something. Is it a crash? Who is this? The feds were watching Nikki play golf for so long they ran out of gas. Not even a helicopter, you guys? A freaking plane? Everything's here. Since when do you talk like that? I'm sorry. It's not Nance people gives me here. trouble and I'll tell him. I didn't crash this a freaking head. That's enough. I'm sorry. And what happens next? 
You can't believe it. Behind every high-powered Italian man is his mom yelling at his ass. <laughs> I, know, I can't take I this no more. Back and forth, back and forth. Take it easy. All right, all right. But, uh, this is so triggering. Like, the pants, the shirt. I know a lot of people <laughs> with this behavior. What can I tell you? I mean, Piscano, this guy, basically sunk the whole world. Oh, my God. He just dropped every name. Mr. Chairman, members of the commission. Oh, 1980. Sam dies in 83. Uh, this commission is prepared to act on a motion denying the Rothstein application. Denied. Do I hear a motion seconded? The ayes have it. This hearing is adjourned. <gasps> that cowboy guy did it. I'm in Senator, you promised me a hearing. You won't allow me a hearing? I f knew it. I f knew it. Yesterday's hearing was to determine whether someone with Rothstein's checkered personal history was qualified to officially hold a top gaming post. Cowboy said nope. Whatever job he takes, Make sure it's something quiet. It's the all-new Sam Rothstein show. What? He produces a show now? Mr. Sam Rothstein. <laughs> Another new position. <laughs> Welcome to the Sam Rothstein show. We're very happy to have you here this evening. Great suit. Sparkly blue. You should run. You know what my problem is? Every time they mention my name in the papers, these suckers, they mention Nikki too. How do De Niro always plays these guys who get in a lot of and then instead of getting out, they double down. And he is doubling down, you know? The feds can only listen in on the stuff involving crimes. So on routine calls, they have to click off after a few minutes. Yeah. Need me a tree. Whoa, Caesars? A uh, hundred yards further down. I loved that camera motion right when they click it off. That was awesome. He couldn't even go for a ride without changing cars at least six times before he could shake all his tails. Nikki needs to get out of town and lay the f low. Oh my god. Ooh, we're in the desert. It's from the beginning. Remember to dig your holes. It's a scary place. Normally, my prospects of coming back alive from a meeting with Nikki were 99 out of 100. Now? I gave myself 50 50. This is wild. He needs to get out of business with this guy. Told Andy Stone that you had a lot of heat on you, and that was a problem. You want me to get out of my own? Town? Yeah, I said, let, let the bull blow over for a while so I can run the casino. I mean, every time I meet somebody here, the big question is, do I know you? Fucking wise guy still around, I'll take a piece of your fucking Jew ass. Then where are you gonna go? They have the best fights in this movie. They are so electric, and it is scary. I, like, don't love it. It's, I don't like watching people yell. I can't watch Dance Moms anymore, you guys, because that, that woman's yelling at those kids. <laughs> The whip sound. Take this one and stick it up your sister's ass. Hit me again. Oh my god. He's so angry. God, what are you doing? You gotta get out of here. I'm an okay, you tend to get even, and that's it. Then you gotta get out of here before the cops and newspapers are all over. Yeah, seriously. Oh, what are you staring at, you bald headed Jew? Mm, this is really escalating, you guys. I am like, let's go now. He said, if it didn't work out between us, then I could get my things and I could leave. All that money, being somebody for the first time in a life, a home, a kid, that's not what happened. It just didn't work out that way. Everything all right? Because you can't buy love. Mrs. Sam Rothstein, please. I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Rothstein have checked out already. <gasps> Mr. and Mrs. Oh, shit. She back with Lester? Okay. Not she started it. She started the whole thing. I'm just standing here. You're not going to drive. Don't even think you're going to drive. No, I'm not going to drive. Jeez, this is a child. This is really escalating in a crazy way. Oh my God, are they going to fight again? Right, I understand, understand that. I know I... Poor f***ing ginger, man. How serious? It's, uh, it's under 25. It's under 25,000? Yeah. And the rest of the two million is still there? Yeah, yeah, I got the rest. That'll live with any more I couldn't. That's his bail money, right, guys? Hi, Sam. Oh my god, her she's just looking nuttier and nuttier. They're making her character design. She to make her look more and more on a hinge, they've got her hair shorter, spikier. I'm home. I'm working it out. 
Yeah, but I've been told before we're working it out. You think that you're home? Do you think that their costume design's getting more like crazy too? Like black and red now? I would have killed. Yes, I would have killed him. You want to get rid of me? Here I am. Go ahead, get rid of me. She's ordering it. Take the f money. Go to the bank and I'm getting my jewelry no, too. Good, it opens at 9 a.m. I am, I'm waking no, her up right now. You're stoned, you're a junkie, get out I of here. I am not, she's get, my get daughter, it. don't let go. go. Oh, Amy's up from all that. Mm. I knew in a three-hour movie we were going to get personal life and business life, and now they are just snowballing into each other, you know? Uh, girl, go. There is this, like, skylight that Scorsese is putting in all these scenes. Um, have a good day at school. Okay. Hey, Angel. From now on, I have to know where you and Amy are at all times. Okay? Okay. He seems to have really given up with Ginger. I'd be willing to take care of anybody who helped me out. Let me think about that. She has wanted her jewels this whole time. Like, this has been her, it's her favorite thing. Oh, he really f***ed himself up out here, didn't he? Shit. Vegas will do that to you. He really thinks who the f*** he is, I tell you Exactly. That. I love these two being like buds. Are they gonna hook up though? I think they shouldn't. Is that what you want? Yeah. Sponsor? Yeah. yeah. Another sugar daddy? Another somebody to pay for her way? Uh, <laughs> oh my god. The torch has been passed. <sighs> also calling him a sponsor. L O L. Lol. I want a new sponsor. Fantastic. You think that money for the hard years. Great for the boss. So who'd you go to lunch with? With Jennifer. Where'd you go? To the Riviera. What'd you have? I had a Caesar had a salad. salad. What did Jennifer have? The line's busy. She is so scared. I know you were with somebody. Who was it? I just hope it's not someone who I think it might be. At this rate, Lester would be better. Don't we agree? He wouldn't be. The Jew's wife would he? Because if he is, it's a problem. What could I say? I knew if I gave the wrong answer, I mean Nikki, Ginger, Ace. Oh my god, I thought that was a glitch in my copy, that freeze frame. No. I ain't seen anything like that. Are you sure? Okay, new theory. That light that's shining down, interrogation light. Everyone's in an interrogation at all times. Look at that. Look at that glow. I know. Nikki and his crew had already hit rock bottom. I mean, Vegas really got this. Rock bottom, baby. Been waiting for this. I mean, they started doing stupid things. The cops shot him. They shot Blue because they thought his hero sandwich was a gun. This Christ. What gun? He's a fucking hero sandwich here. What do you want? It's, it's pitch black out it's here. The comedy in the voiceover going hero sandwich and then in the world of the film them going, he's got a fucking hero sandwich. So funny. And when I'm ready, I'll say the word, go see the Jew, yeah. and you make it disappear, you know what I mean? Oof. Nikki's gonna do it. Nikki's gonna order it. You're all over the Jew. <laughs> yeah, Sam's outfits are freaking red and black now. He's changed. Her outfits have turned almost exclusively gold. Like gold digger. Amy, Amy, open the door. I can't, I'm What? You don't know what time did your mother do this? When did she leave? I don't know. Her mother did that? I'll throw off my sorrow. Oh my Are you tie up? Oh, she is not okay right now. She is fucked. You want me well, to sign, you okay? I just want the key to my jewelry and I want you to let me go. Give her her jewels. That's all she wants. Just the jewels. Once a f***ing hooker, always a hooker. Oh, f*** you. F*** you, Sam Rothstein. I don't know who I'm rooting for. Like, Ginger was like the independent babe and now she is like abusive. 
But, like, I don't want to be rooting for him either. But, like, he's protecting the kid. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'm not, I know the fucking guy 35 years. I'm gonna fucking whack him for you. Probably. We'll do anything for Ginger. <laughs> I don't need you. Wow. I'm not scared anymore. All right. Be careful. With me for the last time. Wow, Sharon Stone performance. Wow. Jeez. This is getting so intense. Mr. Rostin, Mr. Rostin, I'm sorry. We've been getting some complaints about, about the noise. I've been two days, I want to get a few of my things. Big okay. deal. Okay. I'm so afraid anyway. to let her in the house. Listen to me. He's locked up. Most of my important stuff, all my papers and things, and I have to get him. So don't let him come up here because I know. God, Ginger is not helping herself, you guys. She has the keys and it's still in both your names. She's got the key. Legally, she can't take that stuff. Legally, she no, can't take that stuff. Half of everything is mine. To me. Half, I can do. I'm coming down. This is like the, the final act of Goodfellas 2 where things start going so wrong, it's almost comical. Shit. In, at the end of Goodfellas, isn't he about to get caught and they're cooking sauce and they're like stir the sauce right like we can do she had the key she's on the account there's nothing we can do let's pull her over at that sicko station okay let's do it so this is the fbi now right turned out ginger didn't tell him anything but by then the feds didn't need her anyway but it was his mind they had all the pieces they needed the feds got what they needed me and my license paradise we managed to really it all up. Got everybody's name. Right away I got wind of the pinches coming down, so I took off. Who needs to hang around for that bullshit? Oh, Nikki got out. All right, I'm willing to tell you whatever you want to know. I've got nothing to hide here. Now for the best, and I couldn't believe this. Green was the front man, but did he know what was up? I think so, right? Everybody's names, addresses, dates, everything. Ha my mother's books. What a Bologna. Those are my mother's books. Betrayed you like that. But I didn't want to look at him. I didn't want to look at the guys who brought him either. <sighs> when the bosses were arrested, some of them were so old they needed doctors at their arraignment. And pretrial services recommends that bail remain as presently set. Go ahead and take a 10 minute recess. Do you think Scorsese was like, no matter how dark and dirty, there will always be a light shining on these people? I just can't with the light. Primo, what do you think? Look, why take a chance? Man, a few words, Remo. Well, if I gotta have a conversation with that guy, then. Oof, with the silencer. They've been using this. What is that? They're not bleeding. And his kid got nabbed by Wow, cool. They saw the blood on that one. Everybody went down. <gasps> the holes are dug. Oh, that is gruesome. She found some pimps, low life druggies, and bikers in LA. And in a few months, they went through all the money and all the jewels. Of course. Did we think Ginger would start budgeting now? After they found a body, Aww. I had a private doctor do another autopsy. What was it? Drugs? He said they gave her a hot dose. That was his opening outfit. You know what that means, guys. Sam. Car bombing. It was amateur night, you could tell. They put the dynamite under the passenger side. But what they didn't know, what nobody outside the factory knew, was that that model car was made with a metal plate under the driver's seat. It's the only thing that saved my life. Does he sur- he survives? He f***ing survives. This whole movie we thought he was dead. The bombing was never authorized, but I suspect I know who lit the fuse. Hey, Nikki! Nikki! It was Nikki. Around. I mean, what's right is right. They don't give a f***. Making the voiceover react. I've been having a hard time with disturbing imagery lately. Oh, just 
just make this quick, please? I don't want to see it. So they made an example of him and his brother. They no. buried him while they were still breathing. No. Not while they're still alive. Just kill him first. Wow. So shocking that he survives this whole time. They had other ideas for me. No stressful. Skylight. You're our lucky, mister. I cannot believe he survived that. <sighs> okay, let's catch up with our man Sam. I freaking thought this man was dead the whole movie. They got me. I wound up right back where I started. I could still pick winners. And I could still make money for all kinds of people back home. Glasses, glasses, glasses. And that's that. Ooh, good old age makeup. That's that. Okay, I'm only confused a little bit. How did Ace get away with not going to prison? Casino from 1995. I have now seen it. And that was like an epic. I'm kind of psyched because after Goodfellas, I was like in mourning. I was just like, I'm never going to get a movie. That fun, action-packed, scary, twists and turns, good filmmaking. Like I was like, I'm never going to get that again. And then Martin Scorsese was like, hold my beer, bitch. And also, I didn't know this, Nicholas Pileggi had another book casino so i am sort of considering these two which i don't think is crazy i'm considering them like they're just like you gotta compare them so i'm going to the goodfellas too so goodfellas 1990 so we do 95 i just felt like these were the same level of fun they were action-packed and the camera is moving and it's boom 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 panning and tipsy turvy and just like Martin Scorsese is the king of pacing. This is a three-hour movie, and it's just like unfolds beautifully, like a beautiful onion, beautiful dominoes, boom, and the dominoes cascade in a line. Taylor Swift lyric. And just, I feel exhausted. Like, it was an epic. It's nominated for only one Oscar. So, what is it, best picture or best director? Sharon Stone, best actress in a leading role nomination. Okay, deserves it. That was star-making for Sharon Stone, even though I'm sure she was on the scene already. Okay. I just want to start looking up some trivia because that was just like too epic and too insane. I can't believe that I basically got another Goodfellas. Like I was so scared that I was never going to have as much fun and we did. Okay, trivia. Most of the conversations between De Niro and Joe Pesci were improvised. Martin Scorsese would tell them where to start and where to end. The rest was up to them. That was so cool because the way that they knew how to push each other's buttons in character was next level. The way he knew how to be like, no, you, no, you, well, you did this and you did this. I mean, I'm sure they studied the script, duh, but it's just like you have to have a really in-depth knowledge of your character and sort of their history to really go at each other in this improvised way and make it seem scripted. I mean, this was freaking nuts. Costume budget was one million. Joe Pesci bore some natural resemblance to Tony the Ant, Spilotro, um, um, upon whom his character was based. Uh, some people um, at the casino almost fainted because they thought it was really Spilotro. Pro producer said one of the most difficult things about filming this movie was finding people who would tell them how to cheat in the casino. Oh my god, gotta keep your secrets. Tangier's casino is fictional. I figured as much. I do not remember ever hearing about that. Martin Scorsese stated before the film's release, this is really cool, he created the head and the vice scene as a sacrifice. Certain the MPAA would insist it be cut. He hoped this would draw a fire away from other violent scenes. That would seem less so by comparison. When the MPAA made no objection to the vice scene, he left it in, albeit slightly edited. That scene was insanity. I was so scared. There's no plot at all, Martin Scorsese said in an interview included on the Blu-ray. It's three hours, no plot. So you know this going in. There's a lot of action, a lot of story, but no plot. Maybe I am mistaking story for plot, but I found there to be a direction. We open on a bomb in a car. How do we get there? Maybe it's a looser plot. I knew it. Chain-smoking Robert De Niro. To avoid continuity problems that accompany a chain-smoking movie character, De Niro always held his cigarette the same distance from the lit end so that their lengths never appear to change. That's cool. 
Okay, Martin Scorsese directed this movie in such a way that every scene with Ramo is in a bright spotlight, shines down upon him, but no other cast members in the scene. This is clearly evident during the final scene between mob bosses. What the hell? Just Ramo? Third film with Scorsese in which De Niro, Pesci, and Frank Vincent appear following Raging Bull and Goodfellas. Wow, so we have to catch Raging Bull now. Whoa, the gangster gasping for breath as he is buried is played by an animatronic. Thank God, that was so scary. Wow, Sharon Stone's only Oscar-nominated performance. That's a shame. She should have gotten some good roles after this. How does Sam avoid prison in Casino? All they could prove, this is on Reddit, so I don't know if this is true. All they could prove was he ran a casino without a license. It's not a crime to associate with people. The movie shows he avoided doing anything illegal. At the end of the movie, Sam isn't arrested because the the real-life guy, Frank, who he's based on, Frank Rosenthal, wasn't arrested. Frank retired, was banned from Las Vegas, and pursued other endeavors until his death in 2008. Another Reddit thread. Question about Scorsese's lighting. In almost every scene, there's a dazzling spotlight, sometimes more than one, shining down from the ceiling that illuminates a particular circle on the floor. One suggests it's bad lighting. It just stood out as artificial. This is a Bob Richardson, who's the DP trademark, the bright light from above. Used prominently in JFK, Kill Bill, and more. It's a neat way of lighting a scene with a primary source that gives all sorts of cool reflections. Intentional aesthetic choice. Everyone says Goodfellas holds up, Casino does not. I like Goodfellas better, but I don't have a problem with this. It's just like kind of long. Just kind of long. It needs to be this long to watch the characters absolutely unravel. Okay, I'm calling this budget 60 million. 52 million estimated. Shocked it wasn't nominated for more. Okay, I feel good about that. So you have seen my reaction to Casino from 1995. No one to hear from you. Where were you when you first saw it? Did you catch it in theaters? Did you catch it at home? Were you like so excited to kind of see this happen again? Nicholas Pledgey, Scorsese, maybe you were a big Goodfellas fan. I did not know that it was going to be a collab like that going in. And that's exciting to me. Um, yeah, because I freaking love Goodfellas. I think it's perfect. Um, as always, Patreon information in the description box below. Other ways to support me below. And of course, as always, on that note, I am going to go eat some Italian food.